An investigation is underway at wells along Buckley Road after high levels of PFAS were found in groundwater near the San Luis Obispo County Airport. Now a voluntary cleanup agreement has been ratified. Here's what the county will be doing moving forward and what it means for residents who live in the polluted area. Many of us have had this water to drink for more than 40 years of our lives with these contaminants. Michael Rivera owns commercial property near Buckley Road. Now the well right here where the water comes up comes to these pressure tanks and that provides water pressure on the home and around for irrigation. Kathy Borland has lived right across the airport for about 40 years. She raised her seven kids on Buckley Road. We ate our, our meat from our animals and we drank goat's milk. <laughs> so. You know, again, we have no idea how long this contamination has been going on. PFAS were found in groundwater near the San Luis Obispo airports in 2022. PFAS are a class of chemicals that are used because of their heat resistance and resist to water and grease uh, as typically a coating on products like food packaging or a carpet. In this case, it comes from AFFF, which is a firefighting foam required by the FAA to quickly contain aircraft-related fires. Once they're in the environment, like in the groundwater we see around the airport, they'll never break down on their own. 57 out of 74 wells sampled by the county resulted with an above response level established by the state's division of drinking water. That would be the purple, red and orange dots on this map. And they advise above a response level that a water supply either have treatment applied or that be taken out of service. What are the health concerns associated with PFAS? They are known to cause cancer and to have other toxicity effects to people like in uh, reproductive and development stages. Borland can't help thinking a health problem she had might be related. 10 years ago, I did have a major liver issue and the doctors can never quite figure out what that was about. So how did these contaminants make their way from the airport to the properties along Buckley Road? Residents believe this culvert that runs through Kathy Borland's property might be the answer. Fire foam testing in past years was often done by spraying PFAS uh, laden foam onto the ground directly across the street from some of those homes. On July 21st, a three-year agreement was ratified during a Central Coast Regional Water Quality Control Board meeting. The voluntary cleanup agreement really speaks to our collaborative effort between the county of San Luis Obispo and CAL FIRE and our willingness to step forward and really try and help clean up the airport-related PFAS issues um, for the surrounding community. Within 30 days from ratification, the airport parties will offer point-of-use drinking water PFAS treatment. Most residents already have that. We have the carbon filter that goes into the house right now. So all of our house water is filtered. All of the irrigation, all of this out here you see is not filtered. So what we're doing is continuing to pollute the ground. Within one year, treatment will expand to point of entry systems. Cal Fire has also taken steps to prevent further pollution. We don't flow it anymore for training. We don't flow it for testing. We only flow it for actual emergencies or fires. Uh, that would require the use of the AFFF. If an emergency requires the use of the foam, we would try to mitigate um, the spread of the foam as fast as possible, and then we would safely dispose of it. Residents still have concerns. Reimbursement was an issue we brought up. If we go ahead and do this and not wait for you, are we gonna get reimbursed? We don't know that yet, and we want community involvement. A total estimate for this project is still in the works, but according to county airport officials, the investigation so far has cost around $2 million. We will continue to test, we'll continue to monitor, and continue to report back to residents what's happening. We do hope there will be great urgent follow through on to get this problem fixed for now. There's still a lot more work to do. Chief Owen says the FAA and Department of Defense are working together to find a non-PFAS foam to respond to fire incidents at airports across the country.